everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually going to be rebuilding this 100cc engine to make it uh, fully modified and actually try to make it go really quickly. Now this engine, uh, I plan on porting it and just cleaning it all out. I bought this engine in early April and it finally got to me. There's a few things I want to get done with this engine and hopefully it'll run better. Now I'm excited to put it together. Okay, let's do this. This is the cylinder head. This was heavy. This one's wider. The gas tank. 36 tooth sprocket. The engine is actually Looks a whole lot bigger than, I don't know, it's about the same size. The whole garage to myself again. The Beetle and the truck is actually at a car show right now as I'm recording this. It's a little echoey in here. I'm going to keep the garage door shut, so hopefully it ain't too bad. This is the piston head, so I wrapped it up in the paper towel so it wouldn't uh, get damaged. So this is a Zeta 100cc engine. It's a 80 slash 100cc. So I got here the cylinder head, and with this specific motor, it does not have a head on it right here. It's all one piece. You can get an upgrade on it. So what I'm wanting to do before I put this on the engine is to port it and get all the extra pieces of metal and debris out of the intake and exhaust port holes. And then there's these holes on the side that I also want to port as well. So I got this off-brand Dremel at Walmart for $20. Uh, I have never used a Dremel like this before. I haven't used one at all actually. Hopefully it would actually work pretty good. This thing's bigger than I thought. There's all the extra supplies. And here's the Okay, so I just realized that the intake on the manifold is actually bigger than the one on the cylinder head. Now it's time to go on to the exhaust port. Now I need to get uh, port these windows right on the side of the cylinder. Those windows right there, they're really hard to get to with a Dremel. But there is noticeable trash in there on both sides. But for some reason, it's really hard to get to. But I'll try anyway. When I actually bought this, I unpackaged it. The piston was already in the head, but I went ahead and took it out. So for future reference, the arrow goes towards the exhaust. Okay, so now after I ported the engine cylinder, it's time to actually mess with the whole engine in itself so i'm going to make it hopefully get uh, get more power by lubing everything up so let's crack into it finally found the right size allen wrench it took a while though <laughs> okay. 
big reveal. There you go. That is the shaft. I need to make sure it is balanced. So as you can see, there's a huge gap at the top right here, and it's the magnet is actually touching the bottom right here. That means it's off balance, and so that ain't good. We need I need to balance this up to where there's equal amount of space from the top and the bottom. See, that's the clutch right there. This is where you put the chain. Okay, big three minutes. Where's the gasket? There you go. This is the gears. Well, it seems like I can't unscrew these because I keep stripping them. I don't want to strip them too much, but they're tight on there and I can't undo it. So I guess I'm not going to be able to actually balance or even out the magneto. So I'm going to have to leave it like this. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that I couldn't unscrew it. So after taking the clutch cover off, I'm going to need to lubricate the bevel gears. So I got this lubrication uh, from Walmart. It's for gears and stuff, which I think would be perfect for the engine. It's not really thick. It's like more of an oily kind of lubricant so I think it work out really well and I'm gonna lube all the mechanical part Now it's time to do the rocket case. We can lube it up in here. There's barely any lubricant on this. There you go, that does a whole lot better. So it looks like it's been lubricated a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's been done really that good. Just barely gonna put more on there. has to go up here instead of down here because there's a nut that keeps it tight and in place. Okay, so I lubricated all the gears up. I lubricated the uh, clutch handle. So now everything should be running smoothly. So now I'm going to make sure the gasket 
Okay, so my SD card got full, so I'm just going to show you all what I did. Take some lube kit, there you don't put too, too much, and just lube it in that uh, piston bearing ring. And for the bearing itself, rings were already on there so since I wiped a little bit of the lubrication off I'm going to put a little bit I mean like a little bit on there it's only on the sides as well only lubricate the sides arrow faces the exhaust so this would be the intake side yeah this would be the intake side because then hey so arrow point Got these little clips, I dropped one. Don't know where it went. Okay, so after some trial and error, I finally got the rings over here in the piston head. So now, it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going back over to ports with a 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, so I got, actually got the paper. So now it'd be easier to get through the ports. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sand this down right here just a little bit. There's a little gap right there for some reason. I'm hoping that once I tighten the bolts it would go down completely. Okay so I just went ahead and put both washers on each one. There two goes on each one. Now I need these black pieces go on there. Time for the bolts. For now, not gonna tighten them all the way. that this engine itself is complete uh, I'm gonna have to do the magneto but other than that it's fully complete I ported it I did not bore it because I don't have any right machines to bore the cylinder I don't think that's really necessary but I sanded down everything I got the upgraded exhaust for it and I'm gonna keep this stock carburetor on it and just take off the air filter so that they get more air in it and before y'all go to the comments and say no air filter is bad just know that 
it runs perfectly fine without it. I, I ain't going to take it off-roading or even, you know, uh, get, I'm not, I don't live in a des desert, so I'll have sandstorms. But other than that, this 100cc engine is finally complete. Now there's one thing I might want to do. I'm thinking about going ahead and putting the carburetor on. But I don't know it, if I should because you usually got to take the, uh, might have to take it back off for the, the throttle cable and everything. So that is the bicycle I'm wanting to put it on. It's a female bicycle which works out great. Oh, wow. That fell. With 100cc engines, they come with this red uh, filter, but I'm not going to use it. So these could just be unscrewed. This could be tightened onto here like this. Well guys, my kit did not come with a spark plug, but it's supposed to, but it sure didn't. This is the carburetor and everything. Yeah, there's no spark plug at all. Actually, even better, I found a brand new one in this package. It's a spark plug. And it. I'm going to switch out with this old one I found because I do not believe that this old one would work really good because it's been in there for a while and it hasn't been used. And for some reason it ain't coming out. That's basically what it's going to look like, except without the, uh, with the exhaust. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. I had a whole lot of fun building this engine, and I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in the next video.